Well, the wonderful thing about big screen TVs is being able to see all of your content on that screen. We do that via digital cable boxes, satellite receivers. Well, it's nice to get some of the content off of your computer as well. We've got all our music, our own home videos, uh, DVDs that we've ripped, even our photo collection. Well, today we're gonna have a look at the Apple TV and taking that to the next level. If you haven't seen the Apple TV before, this is uh, basically a little media center box that allows you to hook up your computer wirelessly through iTunes and share all of that content on your big screen TV. It's almost like a little mini computer inside. It's got a built-in hard drive and also a wireless network connection as well. But the one downside about the Apple TV is that you're really locked into iTunes. What we want to show you today is how to kind of unlock or upgrade your Apple TV so that you can play all sorts of different types of media and even have access to different types of media center interfaces. Plus, we'll also show you how to unlock the USB connection on the back so you can even plug in external hard drives, something that you can't do right now. It's a program called ATV Flash and you can get these kind of upgrades or hacks uh, on the internet for free, but what I like about ATV Flash is that it uh, actually uh, combines everything for you, so it really makes it simple to upgrade. And uh, all you'll need is basically a compatible USB thumb drive. You're gonna download the program on here and uh, we'll be good to go. We want to go to the ATV Flash website at atvflash.com and this is where you download the software. This particular one uh, costs $50 to start. You simply select which version you want, the Mac or PC, make your payment. And uh, I've already downloaded this. I'm going to put the uh, flash drive into the computer and just launch the installer. In the meantime, we also want to set up a Boxy account, and this is uh, really cool. It allows us to actually share all of our media files that are on our computers and our, our network. And this is a pretty easy process. You simply go to boxy.tv and hit the sign up button here. So now I'm set up for Boxy. It looks like the flash drive is ready as well. And what we're gonna do is go back to the Apple TV and get everything rolling. What you're gonna have to do is uh, basically take the box and unplug the power from it. Once we've done that, on the back here, we simply take the USB thumb drive and we stick it in to the USB slot. There's only one, so you can't really mess it up. So I plugged it back in. The nice thing is you don't have to worry about monkeying up your Apple TV. If you don't like the programs that it installs or you ever have any issues, which you won't, you can always reset the Apple TV box back to the factory settings. And so uh, at the end here, you can see at the bottom, the ATV flash software has been successfully installed. You may now remove the flash drive and restart your Apple TV. So what we do is we go back down to the Apple TV. And again, pretty simple. We unplug the power and we take the USB flash drive out as well. And from there, we just basically plug the power in again and wait for it to boot up. We can install uh, Flip for Mac, WMV, Flash. I can even install the mobile air mouse driver. If I wanted to, I can uh, now use that USB port on the back. I couldn't do that before with the original Apple TV box. And look at this, I can also install things like Google Earth. And this is kind of a cool thing down here, Hotspot Shield. A lot of these internet channels, which we'll get to in a moment, uh, are actually blocked depending on what country they're in. If you're trying to access stuff on the BBC or uh, down in the United States, uh, for example, they actually block your IP address. They know you're coming in from Canada. Well, this hotspot shield will actually, when installed, block that so they don't know, so you can view some of that stuff. Also here, we're gonna go up to the XBMC Boxy menu, and what I wanna start doing here is downloading things. So we've installed Boxy, but before we go into it and actually start configuring it, I need to install a few other things. What we want to do is go into the Neato TV uh, interface here. But what we want to do is install some of the extras that it has. The Apple TV box, uh, straight from Apple, will only play iTunes-based content, or MP4s. By installing all these extra codecs, we can then play pretty well any type of video file that you can imagine right now, everything from DivX to uh, MKV files. Uh, Installing this here will allow us to watch all of it on our big screen TV, which is kind of a nice feature. 
Next, we want to go down to the smart installer. This actually uh, installs some additional drivers onto the box itself, uh, including uh, the ability to actually uh, use that USB port for additional things like external hard drives, keyboards, and, and mice. So Boxy is the interface we're going to use for all of our media that's uh, coming off our, uh, our network or our computers. Right now, what we need to do is add a new profile. And remember, we set that already up uh, on the Boxy website. So simply just click on it, and we will type in the, uh, the username and profile and uh, get that set up. So this is the welcome screen we get when we first uh, log into Boxy. Up top here, there's uh, recommendations uh, from our uh, people that we're following. Friends activity, and th that's kind of the cool thing. This is kind of a social networking interface uh, as well. What you want to do is uh, get your friends uh, all hooked up with uh, Boxy, and they don't have to have an Apple TV. They can actually watch it uh, on a Windows machine, Apple, or even Linux uh, as well. And the cool thing is you can actually kind of see what they're watching and what they're recommending, and that helps you uh, choose uh, new types of TV shows and movies. So what we need to do now is tell Boxy where all our stuff is. So we're gonna go up to Applications, and this is kind of the cool part about Boxy. Not only can you have it access all your own media content, you can actually go up on the internet and access all the internet video and music that's out there. And this is a cool feature, and I think probably one of the more powerful aspects of it. Well, it takes a, a little while for the menu to actually populate itself. And what it's doing is basically checking all those video files, whether they're movies or TV shows, going out on the internet and finding all the information for them and also the cover art as well. And I'll show you what I mean here. We've uh, given it a bit of time. So for example, in movies, what I've done is I've actually ripped all of my DVD collection onto my uh, media server so that I don't have to keep plopping in DVDs. I can check out the Apple trailer get a little preview of the movie before I even watch it to make sure that I do want to watch it. And I can go down and read more as well. And this is kind of the nice thing about Boxy is that it goes and gets all this information for you. I can go in and uh, check out things like my Mad Men things that I've downloaded. It even breaks it down to seasons. And the uh, nice thing too is that it even breaks it down by episode and also gives you descriptions as well. So there you have it. We're actually able to stream all of our digital media content and our internet video files directly to our Apple TV box, which is a great feature. We can see it all on the big screen TV the way it was meant to, to be. Again, I've really kind of simplified this whole process. You'll want to check out the documentation for both uh, Boxy and the ATV Flash. And remember, if you want to do this all free, you can download these different components. But what I do like about the ATV Flash, it makes it really simple. Whenever there's any new upgrades to any of the software, it does it all automatically for you. You can check out their website. You can also check out Apple's uh, website for their Apple TV uh, box here, but it's a great way to access all your digital media in one simple place. Gotta get, gotta get, gotta get, gotta get.